here is equation number 18 and it reads, uh, reads like this, this is a cyst arrangement that has been given, it is a collection of pulleys and this is at equilibrium. Um, this angle theta has been explained to us, we need to find the ratio of M and capital M and friction coefficient we need to find, we need to identify this nature of equilibrium. So, let us proceed for the solution. Now, these are walls, so there are two wall. Let us understand the picture. This is pulley and this is capital M, this pulley, this is small m, this is capital M. Now, capital M are symmetrical from both sides, we can draw the free body diagram of any of them, small m is a single. So, free body diagram of small m. If you look free body diagram of small m, you are going to get some sort of this, that there is a small m is going to be subjected by a force which is called a small mg and there is going to be um, tension acting and if we draw this uh, including this pulley it will make things easier so there is going to be tension acting over here tension acting over here so this tension on the string is t so we are considering that tension on this string is t and here will also be t here will also be t because it is uh, uh, inextensible massless uh, that means we can say it is ideal string. So, from here we are going to get as like twice t is equal to small mg which means tension in the string is known to us which is small mg by twice. Now, we can draw the free body diagram of any of uh, two capital M pulleys. When we draw the free body diagram of any of these two capital M pulleys, so, they are going to be look like this, that is a pulley, we are drawing the free body diagram of pulley basically. So, here you will find uh, this will be having capital Mg acting vertically downside of course, there will be a force called tension which is going to be tangentially and at an angle theta from the verti vertical. So, if you look at this angle, you will find this angle is going to be theta. Moreover, uh, it is trying to turn like this um, as well as sliding down, so there has to be friction acting vertically up. That is F. At equilibrium, you will find this friction is going to be static friction. Okay. So, let us balance and for that sake, we can make the component of this tension. So, one component is going to be upward T cos theta. Another component will come in this direction, which is going to be T sin theta. Apart from these forces, there was one more force, uh, which is basically normal reaction from this ball. So, that is the normal reaction is n. Now, let us balance the force in the vertical direction as well as in the horizontal direction. So, if we balance in the horizontal direction, we will find n is equal to T sin theta. So, one equation is going to be this. Another relation will come for the uh, vertical force balances. So, it is going to be like F plus T cos theta must be balancing capital Mg. Apart from this, there is going to be torque balance. We can balance the torque about the center point. So, Mg will provide no torque, normal relation center, uh, normal relation will pass through the center, so that will not provide any torque. So, torque of F must be balancing the torque of um, T. So, we can say torque about C must be equal to 0, which implies basically. Uh, F into R is equal to T into R. One torque is in clockwise direction, another is in anticlockwise direction. Basically, this provides us with F is equal to T. So, you can call this is one relation, this is relation number two, this is the relation number three. We got multiple relations, right? And they will help us to find the unknown values. Now, first is uh, F and T are equal and first and third we can solve together. So, for solving, let us say uh, we are solving of after this. So, we can use equation number 1 with 3. If you use 1 and 3 together, then you will find it is going to be like T plus T cos theta is equal to capital Mg, but you already know what the T is. So, this could be written like T and 1 plus cos theta is equal to capital Mg. Now, let us substitute this T value. 
So, when we substitute this t value, so it will become it will become a small m g by 2 1 plus cos theta is equal to capital M g. It's asking about a small m and capital M ratio. So, from here we can find a small m divided by capital M because g will get cancelled out you can see. It's going to be equal to 2 upside divided by 1 plus cos theta. So, that will become the answer for first part. So, this is the answer of A part. Now, we can solve for uh, other parts as well. Maybe like here. So, that was a solution for part A. Let me write that. Now, we are solving part B. So, how this part B is going to be? It is asking for a range of coefficient of friction so that this remains there. So, uh, basically we calculated T and T is this and this is also equal to F. So, we can say F is equal to mg by 2, is not it? Okay, so this becomes the friction acting. We know this is this is going to be static friction, and a static friction is always less than or equal to mean to normal variation. And normal variation we have already calculated is t sin theta. So basically, we are getting like this: m g by two, or we uh, can keep it in terms of t. So, mg uh, by 2 basically it was t. So, t is less than or equal to mu into normal relation. Normal relation came out as a t sin theta. t will disappear or can be divided because it is positive number. So, we are getting like uh, mu sin theta is uh, greater than or equal to 1. So, mu must be greater than or equal to 1 upon sin theta. So, whatever theta is given to us based on that we can find the value of m mu and maximum uh, sorry mu has to be greater than or equal to this theta that means minimum mu required we can find out from here and if friction value is more than that value it's okay so it will remain in equilibrium so at least mu should be 1 upon sin theta so that's another answer so we got the answer of first part as well as second part for third part uh, you, we need to check the nature of equilibrium can you check that nature of equilibrium for that sake, you disturb this arrangement and try to find whether this is restoring itself or not. If restoring, that's stable. If not, that's unstable. So, you need to check that. Okay. So, that's all. Thank you.